hallelujah glory be to god good morning good afternoon good evening wherever you're watching from the lord bless you today and cause to shine upon you how you doing hope you're bouncing in the lord the lord is good it's another day and we give god glory in the name of jesus this is every word of god for daily living <music> Our precious Father, King of glory, Lord of Lord, I bless you. I give you glory, honor, adoration for the snow light unto you. Be thou exalted and glorify and magnify Jesus, Son of God. We bless you. We worship you. Thank you, Father, for this new day, O God. Be thou exalted, Lord. You are wonderful. You are glorious. Oh, you are wonderful. You are the oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O oh Lord, you are wonderful. You are the my God, you are wonderful. You are worthy, O oh Lord. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. I give you glory, Lord, as I honor you. Oh, you are wonderful. You are the old Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy. Oh, Lord, you are wonderful. You You are worthy, oh Jesus, you are wonder, you are worthy, Lord, you are worthy, oh God, you are wonderful, you are worthy, oh God, we give you all the glory, I give you honor, I give you all the glory, I give you honor, Jesus, I give you all the glory, I give you honor, I give you all the glory, I give you honor, praise God, hallelujah, praise God, amen, praise God, hallelujah, praise God, amen, praise God, hallelujah. Yeah. Praise God, amen. Praise God, hallelujah. Praise God, amen. Praise God, hallelujah. Praise God, amen. Praise God, hallelujah. Praise God, amen. Lord, I bless you. I give you glory, honor, adoration, King of kings, Lord of Lord, Lion of the tribe of Judah, none like unto you in all the earth. Be thou exalted and magnify and glorify, Father. Hallowed be your name. Glory to the name of the Lord God Most High, who was and is and still to come, Jesus. Oh, you are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy of my praise you are worthy lord you are worthy lord you are worthy lord you are worthy to be praised you are worthy jesus ancients of days lily of the valley oh Oh, you are worthy, Lord, worthy to be praised. You are worthy, Lord, worthy to be honored. You are worthy, 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 worthy. 
You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy to be praised. Ancient of days, that's not like unto you. Be thou exalted, Lord. Be thou magnified, Lord. You are worthy to be praised. Thank you, Father. We worship you. Be thou exalted for all you are, O God. Be thou glorified for all you are to us and all you've done, O Lord. Be thou magnified. Even for the things you are yet to do, Lord Jesus, we worship you. Be glorified, Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, we are here to to hear your word. Lord Jesus, we pray, O God, that you will come with your word, O God. You will come with your power, O Lord, your presence, O God. Father, come and speak to us. Come and instruct us. Come and heal us, O Lord. We are here to receive again, Jesus. Come and teach us, O Lord. Father, be the one speaking our decrees, O Lord. Increase by your word, O Lord, to heal and deliver us, O Lord. To bring our heart closer to you, O Lord. To open our eyes to deep and secret things, O God. All things that we know yet not of, O Lord. Speak to our hearts, O God. To instruct us, to correct us, O God. O Lord, we pray. In the name of Jesus, be thou exalted. Thank you, Father, for hearing me. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. The Lord is good and all the time. His tender mercies is over all his works. We give God all the glory in Jesus name. Amen. Our topic today is persons from first and second coming of Christ. Hallelujah. This is an interesting topic. Amen. This is by Pastor Parika, the International Director of the Holiness Forever Movement Worldwide Church from Horemo. Today is Tuesday, November 30th. Hallelujah. The last day of this month. God is good. Hallelujah. The Lord has been so good to us and we give God all the glory. No matter the attacks or the shaking of the enemy, God has been forever faithful. He's consistent in his faithfulness. We give God all the glory for seeing the last day of the 11th month of this year. That means it's just one month, one full month yet, yet to uh, uh, to come and then this year is over again. Look at how the year is flying. We just, let's take a moment to say thank you, Jesus. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for this day. Blessed be your name. You are a faithful God. You that has helped us, oh God, through this 11 months, you are more than faithful to make us go through the last month of this year and to see the new year. Thank you father for keeping us for protecting us for shielding us for providing for us for protecting us even when we started this year we didn't know what the year hold from the coronavirus and all the hardship and everything that was that this year started with oh lord but now look at us we are gloriously wonderfully better than even what we were before be thou exalted for your faithfulness is forever we worship you lord in jesus name amen it's an exciting day yes it's a day we should thank God. Hallelujah. Blessed be God. The last day of the month, November 30th, 2021. Hallelujah. And our text is taken from the book of Acts chapter 1 verse 9 to 11. Verse 9. And when he had spoken these things, why they beheld, he was taken up and a cloud received him out of their sight. And why they looked steadfastly toward heaven as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel, which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. Amen. Key verse is taken from the book of Revelation chapter 22 verse 12. Behold, I come quickly and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. Hallelujah. I take our reading. Jesus promised to return and take his people home in the rapture. The signs of his return are revealed to us through various happenings and revelations. Heaven is fully prepared for this great spiritual event. Jesus is coming back to the world from heaven. The abode of the true God, the abode of the true God, the place of everlasting life. Hallelujah. Jesus came to the earth physically in human form over 2000 years ago for the work of redemption of mankind. And he is coming on the earth again to rapture the saints to God. Amen. To rapture the saints to heaven. Jesus came many years ago to save mankind, to die for your sin, to die for my sin. And 
when he left, he gave us a promise even before he left that he will come again. That even the same way they saw him lift uplifting and going to heaven, in that same way, they will also see him. We will see him, hallelujah, coming back from heaven. Amen, amen. At his first coming, Jesus came as a savior to save us from sins. He came to save you from your sins. He came to deliver you from the bondage of sin. He came to deliver you from the bondage of the enemy. To bring you into his marvelous light. He's a savior from sin. A lamb of God to sacrifice himself for our salvation. Amen. That is how he came before. As a lamb to die for our sin. To be sacrificed for our salvation. A mediator. To reconcile us to God. Amen. Amen. That through the name of Jesus, God will hear us and he will answer us. Amen. That whosoever come to, to, to the Lord God, through the name of Jesus, shall be saved. He shall be saved. Amen. Our righteousness to put us in right standing with God. Hallelujah. Our deliverance to deliver us from the works of Satan in our lives and to set us free. He came to deliver us from the works of Satan and Jesus came to set us free. Amen. He is our fullness, our fullness to give us abundant life, our restoration to restore men back to God, men to the image of God. Amen. These are the reasons why Jesus came to restore us back to God, to save us, to be a mediator, to deliver us and to free us from the bondage of sin, to give us eternal life, to show us that yes, there is a way to go to heaven. Amen. Hallelujah. After Jesus Christ accomplished his mission, he went back to heaven and gave us his word, grace, church, and commission. We are preparing for his second coming as people preparing for a wedding. The preparation is both personal and congregational. Preparing for his coming requires the following, a ready spirit to go beyond the normal and average as seen in many Christians because the, the nearer his coming, the fiercer the battle. I tell that again, a ready, the, the, what are we to, how are we to prepare? We are to get ready ready our spirit to go beyond the normal or the average as seen in many Christian life. That means we should not be normal Christians. We should not be in the average Christian. So I'm an average be- believer. I'm a normal believer. That, that, that should not be that I'm average or, or, or normal as seen in many lives of Christians because the nearer the coming of the Lord, the fiercer the battle. We don't want, we don't want to, we, we don't want to relax. We always want to put on the whole armor of God meaning you should always be fierce all the time, ready, ready to fight at any time, ready to guard yourself, be on guard at all time with the whole armor of God, hallelujah, to be constant, constant study of the word of God, to know the truth and to overcome sin and Satan, because the enemy is not sleeping, he's looking for a way to come into your, your life, there, that is why you need the word of God, come on, I said the whole armor of God, and it's one of it, the sword of the spirit, you need that sword of the spirit to be on God all the time, you need the word of God in your heart, in your spirit, even while you are sleeping, you are in battle, you have the word of God in your spirit to fight for you, yes, when you are going wherever you need the word of God in your spirit to be able to overcome the attacks and the strategies of the wicked. You need the word of God in your mouth to be able to speak forth faith, the faith of God that yes, you have faith in God and you begin to see things happening that when you see that, when people say there's a casting down, you say no, there's a lifting up for me. Oh, there were a lot of cast down last year, even at the beginning of this year, but we begin to, we continue to speak, Lord, there's a lifting up. I know that the end of this year has a lot to hold for me. Uh, at the end of this year, I will be much better than my beginning. Oh, my later end is greater than my beginning. And we are seeing it being fulfilled. And we give God the glory for his blessings in the name of Jesus. Both spiritually and physically, the Lord is good. Hallelujah. Amen. Holy living, true faith in Christ, and constant prayer 
for God's grace. Constant prayer for God's grace. I said the whole armor of God again, and one of it is prayer. Prayer. You need prayer. How can you be a strong Christian? How can you win the battle when you do not have prayer? You do not pray. You do not intercede. You do not take a, a, a time to, to fast and to pray on your own, to intercede for yourself. Come on. The devil will get you quickly. But when you are always praying, you are a praying believer. Wherever you are at any instant, just as you are talking, you are praying. What is praying? Praying is a communication to God. Just as I'm communicating to you with this video, that is how you communicate. To, to God. You tell God, oh God, Father, I bless you and I thank you. You just prayed. You just prayed. That is a prayer. That is what God requires from you. And before you know every little attack, you see things there and here. Before you know, you just pray as you pray, they are gone. As you pray, they are gone. They attack you, you pray, they are gone. You, you, they attack you, you pray, you are gone. That is how you overcome. We are in a battlefield. So you as a child of God, you have to be steadfast all the time. Not dropping down your weapon, not dropping down your sword, but praying always. Hallelujah. Praying with the word of God too. Amen. Amen. And the other point says, evangelizing and so winning to bring in sinners to Christ by making them to turn away from sin and confess Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And thereafter, live a holy life. Amen. Amen. Thereafter, you live a holy life. When you go out to evangelize, evangelizing is, is so sweet. It is like you are feeding your spiritual man. I don't know how that happens, but anytime I go for evangelizing, I am satisfied. It's like instead of me to spend three hours to pray and pray and pray, when I go out just for a few hours for evangelizing, I am full. I am full. I am empowered. It's like something has happened to me. And I give God the glory. That is the power of evangelism. Just like you go there because then you are joyful. You are happy. You have gone to do the work of God. And then you are coming back. Oh, bringing your sheaves, returning. Oh, maybe somebody gave their life to God. You are excited as a child of God. It is very, very good that you also go out for evangelism. Amen. Hallelujah. I pray that the Lord will empower us and give us the spirit of boldness to go out there all the time. For yes, the enemy is fighting it, but we shall overcome and conquer in Jesus' name. Amen. And even as you go to evangelize, you follow them up. You don't just leave them and say, oh, you're giving your life. You don't collect number or you collect number, you do not call. May the Lord give us wisdom. For the Bible says, you that winneth a soul, he that winneth a soul is wise. May the Lord give us wisdom to win souls and those souls should remain. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. We thank God for this daily devotional. Yes, indeed. God is coming. Jesus is coming. It's coming. Maybe even before this month is, is ended, Jesus can come. So my dear, how are you living your life? How are you living your life? Are you a true child of God? Are you truly holy or you are plain holiness? Are you truly righteous or you are just an hypocrite? Are you truly a child of God? Are you practicing it as God has said that? Are you truly holy? If you are not, please work out your salvation now with fear and with tremble. Trembling, knowing that our Lord is near. May God have mercy in the name of Jesus. If you can study in your spirit or look around you, you will know that the Lord is coming. This day may not even end, my dear. You may not see December. That's a fact. You may not see December and then the Lord will come. My dear, prepare your way for the Lord. Prepare your way. Huramo, I was reading a, a, um, about, I was reading a devotion at one time and then the Lord put it in my mouth that Huramo is like John the Baptist in the wilderness making ready the way of the Lord like John the Baptist yield. Prepare ye the way of the Lord. Prepare ye the way of the Lord. The Lord is coming. That is what Huramo is. It's not just shouting it, but it's teaching us how to prepare our way. May the Lord give us the grace to be fully ready. May the Lord give us the grace that whatsoever that is still remaining in your life, that the Lord will empower you and give you the grace to cleanse your way and be fully ready before God. That whatsoever spot or wrinkle that is still there in your life, or in my life, 
that the Lord will cleanse us and purify us, that no dirtiness, no spots in my life will make me not to go to heaven. The Lord will help me as the Lord will help you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our thought for the day is, are you prepared to meet the bridegroom? Are you ready for the coming of the Lord? That is the thought. Let it be the thought you will have this whole day before December. You can pray in your quiet time, in your room, wherever you're listening from. Just pray this silent prayer to God. Surrender your life to God. Reconsecrate your life to God and make a promise to God that you will take it to heart to cleanse your way. Whether it's restitution, whether it's to make sure you don't see anymore, just to make a decision that you will live your life for God or to drop all those worldliness. Yesterday, if you didn't listen to the yesterday devotional, please go. Is it yesterday or two days ago? The devotional for Sunday, two days ago. Please take time to listen to it. I was talking about all these worldly things. Please, please, please. The Lord is not joking. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He never changes, he never fails. If he could wipe the whole world in the time of Noah, that it was only the family of Noah that remained, only eight persons remained in the time of Noah, God can do it again. Do you know the population of the earth then? You don't know. I can even think that the population of the earth was more. Ask me why. Because in those days, they give birth like water. Yes! They give birth as just as God is giving them the children. They are giving birth. They are giving birth. They are giving and they are marrying themselves. Sisters and brothers are marrying themselves. It's not like now you have to wait. So your neighbor, somebody else, you have to marry. Sisters and brothers are marrying themselves. Families and families are marrying themselves. They are giving birth like what? So the earth was multiplying and multiplying. Oh God, what them all? Just only the family of Noah. If God could do it then, what will stop Him to do it now? That iniquity is everywhere even now that we are hearing the truth but we are not even believing even now after jesus has come my dear the doom is more may god have mercy may god have mercy that you will make it to heaven that i will make it to heaven that nothing will stop us from making heaven in jesus name i pray in the name of jesus by your mercy oh god Amen. Hallelujah. We thank God for this daily devotional. Take some time to pray for yourself. I will take some time to pray for myself. May God hear us as we pray and try as we walk ourselves holy and righteous before God. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Amen.